Hey everybody, Devin Henry here with PSBN, and today I am with Cactus High School Spirit Line coach, Mrs. Schultz. Mrs. Schultz, how long have you been the Spirit Line coach here at Cactus High School? Well, I've been coaching for six years, Devin. It was a really interesting start. I was not a cheer coach or anything like that, but my daughter was on the team, and they'd had lots of chaos in probably the three or four years in a row. And the um, athletic director at that time came to me and said, would you be willing to take this on? And I thought long and hard about it and said, okay, I'll try this, but I'll do it at least while Holly is still in high school. And that was six years ago. So I was going to do it for two years and now we're in our sixth year. Obviously it's become very passionate for me and I love it, so it's fun. And a little bit more on you, what has been your greatest achievement so far in these past six years? Hmm. Honestly, seeing so many of our girls move on and do this at the next level, really because they've become so passionate about it, they love it. And being able to give girls something that they can carry on for the rest of their lives and be passionate about, that's been my greatest accomplishment. We have girls that come back for every competition and root us on. I have girls that say every time they see us, I still miss this every day. I wish I could be part of this. That's the part that I hold on to. That's the part that makes me get up in the morning. So what is something that not a lot of people know about your cheer team? Mm -mm. They're incredibly goofy and they eat a lot. The story at camp is when they announce lunchtime, my cheer team traditionally has been the team that races to lunch and is always first. And we eat a lot. And nobody would look at those little, bit, little bitty girls and think, oh my goodness, they can put this much food in their bellies, but they do. They eat a lot. <laughs> So with those goofy girls, who are your team leaders? My captains this year are Lexi Parker, Lauren LaCure, and Hannah Valdez. Lexi and Lauren have been in our program for four years now. They started on varsity as freshmen, so this is their fourth year. They've just grown up in the program. And Hannah joined us new last year, um, came to us from ROTC, and really was the kind of kid who was just a natural born leader. So they're, they're my captains this year. So obviously Spirit Line isn't just pom-poms and kicking out your leg. What does it take to be on Spirit Line? Really honestly, the willingness to work harder than anything you've ever done before. Because a state show cheer routine incorporates everything. Stunting, tumbling, dancing, all of those things combined in two and a half minutes. So a typical practice is conditioning. We condition a lot. We work out a lot. Then we work on stunting. Then we'll work on dance drills. Then we work on maybe a halftime that we need to do for this Friday's game. And then we work on our palm routine separately and our all-girl routine separately. So for example, this Saturday is one of our first Saturday practices. There will be girls in the gym practicing for four hours straight. They will be exhausted when they leave because it, there's so many different aspects to what it takes. And now in the past two years, you guys have won the state championship and also the four-man squad state championship. What are you going to be your goals for this season? Well, <laughs> I would say to you, first of all, we like to win. Winning is kind of a big deal, and it's a whole lot more fun than not winning. And we love to compete. Most of my girls have never been in a competition like what cheer competitions are like. So we enjoy that. But my goal personally, along with those being successful and all of that piece, is being able to see girls accomplish things that they never believed they could do before. Last year, my seniors that graduated, we had nine girls that had standing tucks, which is a, it's a gymnastics move. 
when those girls started their sophomore year, we had two. So in two years, those girls worked hard enough to be able to accomplish that kind of thing with their bodies. For me, that's the goal, is being able to see young ladies who I think sometimes get lost in the shuffle of what a high school girl should be and then realize that they can do these amazing things with their body that not everybody else can do. They have to be willing to work hard and they have to be willing to give 150% to it. But if they do that, they can accomplish amazing things. That would be my goal. All right, and one final question on you. What has been the strangest or even the funniest thing that has happened to you in these past six years? Whew, that's a really hard question because there's been so many. You just, I think coaching with my daughter has been the most fun. Being able to go from being mom and daughter to me coaching and her being on the team to being coaches together to accomplishing a state championship together has been an amazing part of it. There's funny things that happen all the, along the way. Um, my girls burp a lot. They do a lot of those dorky things that you'd never expect girly girls to do. So those are things that we laugh about. When I hear people say, oh, the cheerleaders are girly girls, I laugh because you haven't spent any time around us, obviously. Things like that, I think, that just make you sit back and laugh about kids. They're funny. All right, thank you, and I hope that your team does great this year, and I hope that those goofy girls are able to make another appearance at the state championship. Thank you so much. We hope so, too. This is Devin Henry for PSBN. Now back on over to you guys.